Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down. Today we're checking out a beer I got from a fellow brew tuber. All right, so who did this beer come from? I got this one from my buddy Brew at Beer for Breakfast Facts for Snacks. This is from the Muskoka Brewery. Greetings from Argentina. So what's going on here? This is uh, part of a small batch series, the Big World Small Batch Series from Muskoka. And they've teamed up uh, with this Antares Brewery, which I guess is from Argentina, I think. Let me read the uh, little story on the back here. Uh, our Big World Small Batch series brings together breweries around the world to create unique beers crafted with camaraderie. Uh, a traditional style in Argentina. For this honey ale, we've teamed up with Cerveceria Antares, a brewery as passionate about discovery as they are about their beers. Refreshingly sweet and brewed with real honey. Awesome. This beer is a strong beer. It's 6.5% alcohol. Um, yeah, I will uh, leave information in the description below to both breweries. And you can check out whatever I can find out about both of them. I've had a few beers before from Muskoka, and they've always been really, really good. I've got another one in the fridge uh, from Brew that I'm going to have to try soon. Um, a bit like the Mad Tom IPA I've had. Uh, many times. Uh, yeah, that's the one I always think of when I think of Muskoka, but I've had a few other beers from there uh, and they've always been really, really good. So I am looking forward to this. Uh, all right, let's just, uh, let's crack this open. Honey Ale. All right, so this is coming out pretty golden. I was gonna say a touch darker than I expected, but no, that's like about right, I would think. Like any beer I've had that's been like a, a honey based beer before has been a similar color to this, I think. It's just been a while since I've had a, a good honey beer, I think. Check out the activity on this, too. Man, so much upside down snowfall going on in there. I wonder if Bruce sent me this. Bruce must love this. Um, does it say anything about like hops or anything? No, the ingredients are water, malted barley, uh, sugars, honey, and maple syrup. Ooh, uh, hops and yeast. All right. Well, let's uh, let's check this out on the nose. It definitely does smell sweet. Um, I mean, obviously that would be the honey and uh, I guess maybe a bit of that maple syrup too. It smells a bit sweet, but not like, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, all right, let's go in for a sip. Cheers. Oh, wow. That uh, sweetness really hit me on that second sip. Um, that is very nice. It's It's got that sweet, sweet finish, but it's still quite refreshing. Sometimes you get something a little too sweet and it kind of takes away from the, how refreshing it could be. But it's actually quite, quite nice. It definitely has a creamy mouthfeel. Um, it's still a generally like fairly lightish body to it. Um, I mean, not, not like super, super light, but, but on the lighter side, I think than I was expecting, especially with something like this sweet. I often associate really sweet beers with a, a, a heavier body, um, and a thicker mouthfeel. Well, this does have a thicker, like creamier mouthfeel, but yeah, like I said, the body's, body's not that heavy. smooth and silky on that mouthfeel. That is nice. Um, yeah, the sweetness you definitely get at the end. I don't know if I'm getting the maple, though. 
Um, like definitely the honey, but the maple hasn't really stood out to me yet. Wow. Yeah, um, not really getting the maple, but that's fine. It's it's damn tasty. Um, this is a really, really nice beer. Um, thank you so much, Brew, for sending this one to me. If you're not subscribed to Brew at Beer for Breakfast, Bags for Snacks, get on that. Get on that right now. There's a link up here somewhere. Click that link. Go to his channel. Subscribe. Like, comment. Do all the things you're supposed to do. Uh, he's got some great content. And you might see some familiar beers on there if you watch this show, because I sent him a lot. And uh, he'll often send me ones that he's trying himself as well. So uh, get his take on some of these. Yeah, this one, though. This is really, really nice. A different. Brew always says try something different. This is this is different because it's it's um, really, really sweet. But again, not not uh, still a lighter body um, than you'd expect from such a sweet beer. It's it's very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that is really, really good. Um, all right, thank you all for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub Patio Party. Um, I hope to see you all again real soon. Cheers, Freddie.